Lawyers and police officers of Reddit, what is the dumbest reason you've seen someone get arrested? In the 1980s I was a detective in Cape Town. One day while driving in Woodstock we saw a group of people chasing a man. So we assisted. Turned out he was suspected of stealing from a passenger in a third-class train carriage. Those are very crowded with many passengers standing close together. In his pocket he had a pay envelope from a local fish packing place. Containing no money but a piece of carton in which was written. Ha ha. Afrikaans for lol caught you good, the people giving chase insisted that he had pickpocketed someone on the train and jumped out at Woodstock station. Long story short. We traced the owner of the pay envelope, his name and employee number were on TBE envelope. Who said that after being pickpocketed twice before and losing a week's wages. He hid his money in his sock and made a decoy with the top of a pack of 30 cigarettes on which he wrote the Afrikaans taunt. TBE culprit was convicted of theft of an envelope valued at 15 cents and ended up with a criminal record. Dot. Can't recall what the sentence was. Unfortunately. We never arrested him. But I investigated a fraud where a guy called our department that issue licenses to captain oil tankers etc. When they told him he didn't have enough evidence of previous sea experience. He literally emailed in a photograph of him sat at his computer forging a sea service testimonial for his last company and asked, is this okay? I was part of our law enforcement unit and we agreed we needed to ask parliament to add a new merchant shipping offense for being a total idiot. Oh god. Where to start? The $30 worth of knickknacks someone stole from Walmart? The guy who robbed the gas station down the road from his grandma's. Where the teller recognized his voice and called him out by name. The assault with a weapon where the weapon was a frozen poultry. My personal favorite. Or the nurse who decided to use her client's debit card as petty cash? Probably the last one. Woman was five years from retirement and will never work as a nurse again. Back in my first year of uni a guy in halls who was the biggest druggie ever got super high and called the police because someone in his flat has lots of drugs and was selling them. My dad once got arrested because he didn't believe the cop in civvies was a real cop. So he slapped him. Turns out he really was a real cop. Re Not a police officer or a lawyer but someone I went to school with took MDMA and then decided to go for a drive and the police tried to pull him over and he tried to escape ran like 8 red lights and crashed into a prison of all places. It was a $20 ticket but the guy kept telling the trooper to arrest him. So he did. Dude cried like a baby when he got booked in. Trooper called his bluff. He got out in about 6 hours. I know how annoying it is when people do this. But I'm not a lawyer or a police officer. But I do know the dumbest crime I've ever heard of. My dad's hallmate from university. A young man. Walking home from a night out. Passed a bus depot and decided to take a bus for a spin. Help people get home etc. Upon return to the bus depot. He was arrested on a few charges including drink driving. Endangering the public. And a weird form of theft as he returned it without prompting. Following the charges. He was released awaiting trial. Likely going to receive a nasty slap on the wrist some fines maybe a short prison stay and a suspension of his driving license not long before the trial he needed a good night out with friends and he walked home past that same bus depot it was just too tempting he served two years i am pretty sure kidnapping a man and his pet goat from a shop is right up there and hash x200b Riverfronttimes.com, Riverfronttimes.com My sister was a legal assistant for a while when she was in school. 
she went to a hearing with her lawyer and the judge asked the defendant and how much marijuana did you have on you? To which the defendant responded, oh no your honor. It was cocaine. Not entirely sure how that got messed up. But the judge apparently gave the look of, how stupid are you? I used to work at a juvenile detention center. We had a local police department bring in a 10-year-old boy for hitting his house with a broomstick. Someone in my town crashed into a telephone pole and took out the power. The road was closed off while things were sorted out. One lady decided she couldn't take the long way home and crashed into the same telephone pole. She was arrested for drunk driving. Not arrested but I gave someone an unnecessary ticket. I drove past two girls on a sidewalk and one was holding a beer can. I backed up and pulled up next to them but now the beer was gone. I ask the girl where it went and she denies having a beer. I tell her to get it and dispose of it. She tells me she's 22 anyway. I respond great. No reason to get in trouble for alcohol. Just go get the can and properly dispose of it she denies it again. Again I tell her to just throw it away. Her friend tells her just go get it she still denies ever having a beer. I walk a few feet back to where I saw them and surprise. There's a beer can on the ground. She got an open container ticket at 22 and a warning for littering. The worst part is after she got the ticket she asks what if I was holding it for my friend because she's not 21? I tell her I wouldn't throw my friend under the bus since she was the one in possession when I saw them so it wouldn't have mattered. She still didn't seem to grasp that nobody had to get in trouble if Shed just picked it up. Underage kid, he was 20. I think. Who has been drinking and still has the beer on him? Decides he's hungry. He goes into a mini mart and hides the beer in his pocket so that no one knows he's been drinking. Goes to buy his snacks and the clerk notices that this kid has tucked extremely noticeable beers into his pocket. Clerk calls the cops and tells them that the kid was shoplifting beer. The cops actually believed the kid's story but arrested him anyway for underage drinking. He spent the night in jail. I work in police dispatch. You would be surprised how many people with warrants call and request officers to come to their house for unrelated things. Guess they just assume the officer won't run them. Edit. My favorite instance of someone shooting their self in foot was just a couple weeks ago though. Someone calls up and says that another mom at the park is screaming street her kids and would like an officer to come talk to her. I smiled to myself. Told the woman I would get someone headed over. Officers got on scene and sent everyone home because the park is closed due to COVID. There was a news story in Denmark recently. A guy had stolen the customer hand sanitizer from a pharmacy after he picked up his prescription drugs. Because of his prescription they easily identified him. Police called him and asked him to return it. He refused so they had to pay him a visit. Seize the hand sanitizer and also arrest him. Not my arrest but someone on my job. Got a call from an individual staying in one of the hotels stating he thought he saw a man with a gun on the third floor. The whole squad rolls over there and clears the hotel. No gunman found. Turns out the guy who called was just high AF and was seeing. So the hotel manager asks the guy to leave. He reluctantly does so. An officer and one of the SGTs are there to waiting help escort the man out of the hotel while he gathers his belongings. This man was about to leave when he lifts up the mattress and grabs his crack pipes and a couple of crack rocks, right in front of the officer and SGT. Promptly placed under arrest. Congratulations. You played yourself. Obligatory not a lawyer or a cop. But my fiance is a cop in a major US city. One of his fellow, very overzealous. Officers arrested a homeless guy on Christmas Day because he fell asleep in the park. 
The park closed at 11 p.m. so he broke the law. Yeah. Everyone gives the officer for it still to this day. Not police. But a guy the first knew fell over onto a police officer. Who thought the guy was attacking him? He got arrested. Sensibly. No charges were pressed and the cop ended up buying the guy pizza to apologize. Not me but when my husband was arrested. He was out on his boat fishing and forgot his life jacket in the truck. Game warden wrote him a ticket. Told him he didn't have to appear in court. And to come to the courthouse on the date listed to pay the ticket. Cool. No big deal. The day came for my husband to pay the ticket. He was in the area for work so he figured he would pop in instead of driving back out there about 45 minute drive. He went in to pay the ticket. Gave it to the girl so she could process it. And she said. You can't pay this. There is a warrant out for your arrest. My husband was extremely confused and no one would say anything to him about what was going on. A 60-year-old sheriff came over and handcuffed him. While the sheriff was walking him across the road to the jail. He finally explained it to my husband. There was a warrant out because he failed to appear in court. Remember. The game warden said he didn't have to appear in court and even checked on the ticket that he did not have to appear. My husband told the sheriff that and the sheriff knew. He also knew this particular game warden. According to the sheriff. This was not the first time this had happened. I ended up bailing him out and he was on probation for a year. I was on a ride along. Guy gets pulled over. Hands his brother's ID to the officer. It is not a good match. Officer asks him when he was born. He gets that one right. Asks him how old he is. He's off by two years. He's being put in the car and the officer says, you're the first guy I've arrested for bad math. Not me. But my grandma was a lawyer. She had to defend someone who stole from a store in a city in Hungary around midnight. The only reason they got caught was because they used some matches to light up the place. And that set the fire alarm off. As if that wasn't enough. A few weeks later in court. My grandma tells the judge to look at the kid. How young he was and that he couldn't have been strong enough to break open the door or carry something outside and steal it. At this point the defendant stands up. Points at his muscles and shouts hell yeah I could. That's basically when my grandma gave up. As far as I know he got a few months in prison. Work for a smaller county. Last fall we got a group of people coming me down from a nearby city to rob a hemp farm. Thinking it was weed growing along the highway. Several of the crack team of bandits were arrested and lodged. The kicker is it was explained explicitly how dumb it was that you can't even get high of the stuff. But the very next weekend they came back down and tried to pull it off again. Only this time the farmer was home and ended up holding them all at gunpoint till we arrived. I arrested a guy who continually called 911 asking police to bring him weed and a cheeseburger. He then proceeded to eat the foam padding of my roll bars in the back seat. I've never seen someone trip so bad. Edit. Link. UPI.com. I was a seasonal officer at a beach resort. One day I was stuck in the substation working on a bunch of reports when I hear another seasonal officer and a senior officer get dispatched to a hotel for unknown reasons. Two hours later and I'm still doing paperwork, in fairness I took a break for lunch. And both of the officers come in with arms full of large brown paper evidence bags. Like the two feet tall ones you out groceries in. They start pulling out the most varied amount of drugs I've seen ever. Something like two large vacuum bags of good weed, not the dry. Two pages of LSD tabs. A gallon bag of shrooms. And a bunch more. Apparently this 19 year old had come to the beach to deal. He had paid for a few nights at this hotel. 
well he missed his checkout time and the hotel needed the room so the housekeeper let herself. She undid the covers and found this buffet of drugs. The kid ended up showing up while the officers were searching his hotel room and they got him. Not a cop or a lawyer. But I knew a guy in high school who got arrested for impersonating a police officer and pulling over a real-life off-duty cop who also happened to know him from high school and found him pretty easily because of that.